Black Friday Facts That Will Make You Want To Stay Home Hello, welcome to Hannah Fact. Today we want to talk about Black Friday. Why is it called Black Friday? The term Black Friday, in the retail sense, was coined in the 1960s to mark the kickoff to the Christmas shopping season. Black refers to stores moving from the red to the black, back when accounting records were kept by hand, and red indicated a loss, and black a profit. Ever since the start of the modern Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade in 1924, the Friday after Thanksgiving has been known as the unofficial start to a bustling holiday shopping season. The term Black Friday was initially associated with a stock market crash. You've probably heard some of the madness that surrounds Black Friday, well it's about to get a little crazier. Black Friday is the start of the biggest shopping weekend of the entire year, it's full of amazing deals cheap TVs and people who literally act crazy. Here are the top 10 facts about the unique tradition of Black Friday. Black Friday is unofficially the best day to buy a TV. The same study by Adobe says you'll save the most money on appliances, jewelry, televisions, and tablets on Black Friday. If you're shopping for toys, you'll get the biggest discounts on Cyber Monday. It's not actually the biggest shopping day after all according to Shop Advisor, which tracked Black Friday prices for 6,000 items in 2013, the average discount is only about 5%, far less than just before Christmas, when discounts can reach 17.5%. In fact, the Saturday before Christmas, not Black Friday, is the biggest shopping day of the year for many retailers both, brick and mortar and online. So big, in fact, that some have started calling it Super Saturday. Amazon wants to dominate the holidays Amazon has leveraged its massive shipping resources to aggressively compete with retailers and other e-commerce sites during the holidays in recent years, and this year it is taking that rivalry a step further. The shopping giant offering some of its deals a full week before Black Friday, Wired reports. More people die while shopping than in shark attacks. Seven people have died and 98 have been injured in the U.S. while Black Friday shopping since 2006, according to news reports compiled by Black Friday Death Count. Stampeding crowds and angry, violent shoppers are usually the reason. But in 2009 a shooting broke out in the checkout line in a California Toys R Us that left both gunmen dead. That's more people injured or killed by fellow shoppers than by sharks. According to statistics from National Geographic, there are an average of 16 shark attacks in the U.S. each year, with one fatal attack every two years. Conditions hit a low in 2011 when one woman pepper sprayed 20 people in Walmart. She sprayed the crowd after people attacked her teenage children while trying to buy boxes, according to ABC. Later, she considered filing a lawsuit against Walmart for not having enough security. And it's not the only time Black Friday shopping has gotten out of hand. 12% of Black Friday shoppers are drunk. According to a survey conducted on behalf of the coupon site Retail Me Not, 12% of all Black Friday shoppers admit they hit the stores whilst under the influence of alcohol. Well, there's your 10 facts. If you don't like the madness of Black Friday, fear not, Cyber Monday is gaining in popularity, when millions of shoppers sit at home ready to click Add to, Card when the item they're watching goes on sale. Whether you prefer Grey Thursday, Black Friday or Cyber Monday, this weekend is truly the biggest shopping weekend of the year. You don't have to set foot in a store at all thanks to internet, shoppers can to take advantage of Black Friday deals without leaving their homes. Adobe reports that Americans spent $1.33 billion online during Thanksgiving last year along with $2.4 billion on Black Friday. 
online shopping increased approximately 25% during both of those days compared with 2013, according to the study. Massive foot traffic is still expected at malls and shops this year. A survey of prospective shoppers by the National Retail Federation shows that only 55% went to stores, in part because online shopping and fast delivery enable people to find bargains in early November and sometimes the week before Christmas. Some deals aren't really deals what deals? A new study from Wallet Hub Market Research Firm shows that 14% of products will have prices on Black Friday similar to their normal in-store costs, while 17% of items will be more expensive on the shopping holiday than they are on Amazon. Books, movies and music have the best bargain prices on Black Friday, while furniture and jewelry are discounted the least, according to the study. More recently, some popular stores have started boycotting Black Friday. While some retailers are known for opening their doors earlier and earlier every year, outdoor recreation store Ray has remained closed on Black Friday for the past three years as part of its Hash Opt Outside campaign. The company encourages its employees to spend the day outdoors with friends and family instead of shopping, or, working. Thank you for being with us until the end of the video. Please share your comments with us in the comments. Subscribe us and turn on the bell to be the first to see our videos. I love you.